Denso India was the most awarded uh, agency uh, in 2022 at Cannes. They also managed to bring home the coveted uh, agency of the year, which had eluded India. I have with me a very senior leader from uh, Densu, uh, Chuk Chang, who's the CEO of Creative APAC. Hi Chuk. Hello, great to be here with you. Were you under immense pressure to perform this year after the glorious uh, return last year? Uh, look, for us, I think the, the main challenge for us as a group this year mm -hmm. was to show that we could deliver breadth. So last year, there was quite a lot of success based on really one fantastic campaign, great work done from India. Mm -hmm. And if anything, what that campaign did was inspire the rest of Dentsu Creative across mm -hmm. the world to really up its game with innovation and, and great creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the secret sauce for uh, winning at Cannes? Because this year has not been as sensational as last year. So what, what did, where did you go wrong and where do you think you still have hopes? Look, I, I wouldn't say that this year has not been as successful because we've come out already with two Grand Prix and it's only two days in. So I, I think I it's been a very successful year. I mean from India perspective. Only for India? Yeah. Look, look, India, we still have a chance. We've still got three particular mm -hmm. campaigns that are up for medal and one of them has actually won a bronze already. So I would say it's already successful because winning a bronze is incredibly hard in Khan. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I don't think anyone can forget that. I think when you raise the bar and you say mm -hmm. that you've achieved a Grand Prix, that is once in a lifetime. But even a bronze is actually once in a lifetime for, for any creative agency. So I don't think that um, we can in any, any, any way dilute the importance of that. I think it's critical for everyone to understand that even a bronze mm -hmm. is incredibly difficult to achieve. You know, just just like you said, uh, you know, last year India managed that agency of the year riding on the back of this one campaign. Yes. From an APAC perspective, which is that one campaign, which is your unfiltered history tour. Yes. Now, which is that one cam campaign that's really working for you this year? I wouldn't say there's one campaign. I mean, if you take it from an Indian perspective, no, no, we've overall, got, from we've an got, APAC perspective. From an APAC perspective, we've actually got an in, an incredible body of work across uh, Taiwan, mm -hmm. Australia, India, mm -hmm. Indonesia. India. Uh, we've got we've got a broad body of work this year across all of our markets. Okay. Uh, another thing is uh, Densu had dropped this uh, international CEO designation after the departure of Wendy Clark. Um, I think after Fred uh, Fred left the agency, I mean there has not been a successor in with regard to the global CCO. Yes. So at this point, is every region their own boss at Can? No, look, I think the thing important thing to understand is with Fred's departure. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that there's been a, a shift away from the importance of creativity. Mm -hmm. We've already got a, a way of working and a culture mm -hmm. that is built around creativity. One person mm -hmm. doesn't determine whether or not we are still as hungry or passionate about delivering mm -hmm. great work and a great creative product. Mm -hmm. So we've already had that in place already, as you can see by the breadth of work that we've had this year in, in terms of shortlists. Mm -hmm. And but, but another thing is, uh, even at the India level, uh, yes. after the AJS departure, there's not really yes. been a CCO. I'm yes. Just trying to understand, yes. is it? I mean, is it okay or healthy for an agency to not have, you know, top leadership positions or have it vacant yes. for this now, uh, this amount of time? Look, having a CCO there to provide that leadership and that guidance is is very important for any organisation. Mm -hmm. But that said, mm -hmm. something that is equally as important is ensuring you have a very strong creative culture and you have a, a, a very clear mm -hmm. way of working that helps you get to great work. And we've got that. We've got a very strong proposition around modern creativity. Right. And what that, what that means is that for us, we evaluate our work based on a creative scale. Mm -hmm. And the aim for us is a creative scale of six things. Okay. Now, four, five, and six mm -hmm. is what we evaluate our work against. So it's work that either creates culture, changes society, or invents the future. Mm -hmm. So we've got a very clear proposition, but a very clear set of guidelines that helps us determine what great work is. Now we use those guidelines to help elevate the quality of the work. Okay. With or without a CCO mm -hmm. there, the entire team is focused on elevating the quality of the work. Okay. Also, the other thing I want to also say is this, having a, a, a great leader there is very, very important from the point of view of like guiding the team, particularly through the, iter the iteration process. Mm -hmm. But great creativity can come from anyone. Mm -hmm. Great creativity can come from a junior team, as long as you've got the right approach and the right vision.
you know, out there we are seeing so many digitally led ideas coming from Densu. Even all the entries this year have been yeah. so digital focused. Yes. So is that the new Densu in the sense? Uh, I mean, of course, you've always been digitally focused. Yes. But is that really taking precedence over? I mean, like technology over good old creative scripts. You know, good old filmmaking and all of yes. that. Ad filmmaking. Look, I, I think the thing to understand is, you know, when, when you're talking about good old fashioned script writing and 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 so forth i think that, that's that's still grounded in what we do we are storytellers okay and the heritage of densu has is has got a lot of strength in storytelling <laughs> it's how you tell the story today and how you connect brands with consumers that is different mm -hmm. and that's where we use technology mm -hmm. to connect brands with consumers so whether or not we're using mixed reality virtual reality the metaverse internet of things mm -hmm. using that technology to connect brands with consumers and also tell stories is done in a very different way today in a very much more modern way which is going back to what we what i say before about inventing the future and modern creativity you know, as far as India is concerned, I mean, this year Cannes started on a very uh, funny note in the sense uh, uh, there was that uh, controversy about Densu having a campaign which is very similar to UML YNR. Do you think that in any way has, I mean, affected Densu's, uh, that, that put especially that particular campaign's prospects? Suraksha ka kala tika. Yes. Look, the thing I want to say about this is, is that no, great creativity they say mm -hmm. is never original okay it always mm -hmm. comes off the back of some other great ideas that said however mm -hmm. this is one solid campaign that has been executed against a real product okay so if you compare ourselves to the other campaign the product hasn't even launched this is actually against a real product for a real client mm -hmm. so it has a lot of credibility in that now the ideas aren't exactly the same okay uh, but back to my point is mm -hmm. no creativity is ever really original as they say it's how you execute it it's grounded in, in a very similar area but it's not it's not exactly the same okay you know uh Densu is built on this the new proposition is modern creative yes and uh, the restructuring and you know the philosophy was executed last year you know in a very big way what is the best thing that has come out of uh, the changed proposition and that having that one Densu creative brand? I'd say it gives us a very clear competitive proposition mm -hmm. against against um, our um, other very, very good, strong competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very clear proposition now to take to market. It allows us to be very focused. Mm -hmm. It allows us to evaluate what great work looks like. And, uh, you know, they generally say awards lead to great clients, you know, more work. Yes. So I really want to understand, last year was Densu India's best year. Did yes. it really lead to uh, a lot of new clients coming on board? It, it did. I mean, we, 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 we had, we've had growth mm -hmm. in the Indian market. Um, and it's come off the back of, obviously, the reputation that, that's been built. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ha has it allowed us to scale in, 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 the, in a way it does? It, 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 do it doesn't always, okay? So when you're doing great creative work, creative work helps you build that reputation and then you work off that reputation to then grow the business. But in our case, yes, the reputation actually has helped us win new clients and new business. Would you like to name some? I mean, at uh, India level. At, at an India level, yeah. Um, look, I, I don't know the exact oh, list okay. of, of new clients, but, but yeah, I, I can it's, it's, at, you can circle back that and with, mm -hmm. with with our with our local business, yeah. Okay, and just yeah. one last question: If you have to really rate the Densu markets in APAC, yes, the countries, yes, which one would be in the top three? Look, I, I think you'd have to <laughs> look. You know, we for me, every market is important. Okay. Um, and, and it depends on how you look at it. You can either look at it from a scale of revenue, you can look at it from a talent point of view, and, but most importantly, you, you look at it from a work point of view. Mm -hmm. Now, having, having evaluated against all three, I would say that we are pretty even across a lot of our APAC markets. Mm -hmm. um, but because I'm talking to you, I think it's really <laughs> important to say that India has got some amazing talent, as you can see from the great body of work that we've had shortlisted this year in Cannes. Super. And I'm very glad to hear that India is number one yes. on the list. Also, not just because you're yes. talking to me, I'm sure deep down you it do is. want to believe that. Yes, yes, indeed. Super. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.